Hello everybody, uh, I am uh, Philippe, you can reach us at uh, 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 Philippe and Flora.com. I'm just kidding, alright, so you can reach me at Hugo and Stacy dot dance. And you can reach us at Phil and Flora.com. Love it. Alright, cool. So today we focus a lot on communication, responsibility, call of responses. This is a very dense workshop, like uh, we talked about last time. So, with the first movement we use, and actually we'll start with the drills. The idea where one person is like the creator of the movement and the other person is mimicking that movement. Your goal is to take your time, make sure they get the rhythm before you move on. This is especially important in dance. Like if you ever started to catch something and the person changes it, and you're like, but... I just got it. Okay. So, same thing here. I'm going to go. But you see how we created that and she immediately, I took the time to go around so she could really get that. Second version of that was the call and response version. So she's going to do a rhythm and then I'm going to follow up with it. Yeah, did you see how she did something and I, I, I did the same rhythm but I changed the versions of it, yes? You can do multiple versions where it's still like the last one where you're mimicking exactly what they're doing. But again, this, this drill doesn't have like a limit. You can totally be more creative on the other side. Remember, the first one is a lot more about like the tool that you're using and the call response is much more about the rhythm that we're using. So don't be so specific about the tool. From there, we added that into the sugar push. It's called the Jacob's Ladder. The song that we used was Spin With You by Zachary Tucker. Jeremy. Jeremy Tucker. Close enough, all right. <laughs> so, one, two, three, and four. In the timing of the music, that walked on five, six, seven, and eight. I'm coming in for with you, da, 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 da. With you, da, 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 da. And leaders, I talked a little bit about when I get to that end position, and I, I'm coming into this, I am going to compress her to begin her movement. I'll do that one more time on this side. We have. Da, 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 da. With you, da, 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 da. With you, da, da, da. I weight this foot leaders at the end. And even if, she was, even if she was on the opposite foot, she can do an and one as we walk out. Don't limit it, don't make it super complicated. I want you to do an and or a tap, whatever you have to do to get back into the rhythm at that point. Uh, remember leaders, I am only communicating, hey, stay in that place. I can't really make her not move her feet. I want her to feel like she could maybe do it, like, like supplement my movement with her body as I'm coming in, and then she doesn't, yes? Or later, we can both do it later. All right, so, uh, second version of this was the whip with the double outside turn. We have one, two, outside turns, five, six, seven, and eight. Immediately when I get to this position, leaders, you're going across with your left foot. With you, da 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 da. With you, da 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 da. Okay, I like that one way back. Uh, but that's the idea, is to, and especially in that one, you are giving like full responsibility. I'm lifting my hand, I'm showing her that like throw of focus where I'm like, hey, I want you to try this. If you just do your thing and just stand there, there's no way they're gonna do something. It's actually really important to make that last piece, especially like for the, um, whatever the last. Yes. So he goes with you. Da, 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 da. See how like the last da was the was the throwing of focus. So she was like, oh, it's my turn now. It needs to be that clear. Yes, and for the you need to be aware, like watching your partner, like see, like oh, something happening, and not be like oh, something happening. And so then he just like look at you and you're like, okay, it's my turn. So try like, to focus and like, gather the information to be like, okay, no, it's my turn. Ta, 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 ta. It's more like a play game. Like you send the ball, it's a new ball, and you just like play together. It's not like holding the ball for me. Oh, <laughs> 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 Alright, so last version of this is bonus material. We went, we went through the underarm pass, showing you how it can evolve. So we started first with the underarm pass that went with you. Da, 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 da. Then I'm gonna go with you. Da, 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 da. Second version of that. We go with you. Da, 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 da. With you. Da, 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 da. And they kind of match, especially since it's said with you. Like I'm like trying this part, and as you see, when I got across, I like still threw the focus. Yes. Thank you guys so much. Again, I'm Hugo, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>